It is time for update sneak peek number two, the one that I personally have been looking forward to the most because we're getting straight away into everything you need to know about progression after this update. I'm talking about power level 11, scrap, gears, gear tokens, and we're going to be testing out some pretty awesome build. Guys, I'm telling you the possibilities with gears are endless. An insanely fast 8-bit, Frank with a ridiculous shield, Colt with even more damage, and the list goes on and on. We'll be testing out the most satisfying ones I can think of. So, hope you guys are all excited. Let's get straight away into the fun. Here we go! So before we get into the fun, first things first, we need to go over a little bit of baseline information about how power levels are going to work as well as progression here in Brawl Stars. So as we know from the Brawl Talk, we now have power level 11 here in the game. You still unlock gadgets at power level 7, but now you unlock your star powers at power level 9. If you get them, you don't go up to power level 10. In order to get to power level 10 now on an individual brawler unlocking your very first gear slot, you need 890 power points as well as 1,800 and 75 coins. Once you're able to reach power level 10, you'll be unlocking your very first gear slot. Now, as mentioned in the Brawl Talk, the very first gear that you craft here in Brawl Stars is going to be completely free. Not the first gear on every individual brawler, just your first gear overall. But just to demonstrate here, as you can see, it walks you through what you need to do. We craft easy peasy. I'm not sure if I wanted that one though. <laughs> Very cool. So we have our first gear unlocked here on Shelly. Shield level one. Pretty awesome. But next, getting to power level 11 is going to be costing 2,800 coins and 1,440 power points, which then will give access to your last gear slot. So let's get this on Shelly and finally unlocking that next gear slot. So for the second one, we're going to be unlocking the damage slot. I feel like it's going to be phenomenal for shotgunners, seeing that you're in the face of enemies a lot, taking damage. You're going to be below half health quite a bit with shotgunners so we'll be able to utilize that damage increase so here we go crafting that bad boy let's freaking go now as explained before there are levels to these gears a maximum of three that increase the efficiency of their passive ability so we're going to be demonstrating here for the damage gear let's unlock level two adding a five percent damage increase when below 50 hp and then the final one here we are with level three and we have a grand total of 20 percent damage increase holy crap as you guys can see we're dealing 2250 damage at close distance with shelly but when we get below half hp as you can see we get purple and we deal 2700 damage let's freaking go and it stays increased seeing that we're below oh my god that's crazy <laughs> 5184 damage but now that we got the process of unlocking these gears and leveling them up it's time to get into a little bit of fun thankfully we're on the dev build so <laughs> we skip all the boring stuff baby we have everything maxed out <laughs> let's see if we can get frank a really fun build here seeing that he is power level 11 his hp is going to be insane with sponge we have 10,500 base hp at power level 11 so let's see if we can get a build that is centralized around his health let's go health level three recover 200 health per second when stationary that is insane now i'm also going to be putting the damage on frank though i would probably recommend like the stun here or something like that but i want to see how this scales with his gadget when it comes to the percent damage increase so let's see this bad boy all right let's get some cubes i want to see this health gear in action let's take some damage by this gene damage me bot you're too dumb attack me dude <laughs> attack me <laughs> come on man there you go there you go good job there mr bot <laughs> okay so we have the damage increase 2640 now if we're stationary we heal up look at that 200 hp just standing there that's perfect for a tank Wow, okay, this is really exciting. Gears are so much freaking fun, dude. We're just passively healing up. <laughs> That's crazy. We're just healing, baby. We're just healing. <laughs> we have three power cubes and we just healing. Now we have the damage increase, but we ended up dying. These gears are so much fun. I want to try a different build here. Guys, I got to do it. I got to see how fast Colt is going to be with this star power along with this gear oh my gosh but what's the second gear that we should go with probably just all damage output colt is below half hp quite a bit during the matches so i think this will come into play quite nicely what better way to test out this speed increase than on a map that has a ton of bushes here we go so we're fast and we are ultra fast holy crap and i think it lasts a little bit outside of the bushes or do you stop immediately or slow down immediately okay here we're ripping we are so fast dude <laughs> Yes! Bring it on, Rosa! I am speed! You can't keep up! You can't match this speed, baby! What's up, Barley? 
<laughs> What's up, Bali? Okay, not our bushes. I need the bush. Okay. <laughs> Dude, this is so much fun. It feels like we're racing around the map. Okay, can we get the damage proc? I want to see it. Either way, my gosh, dude, this is so much fun. Okay, we have the damage increase. Come here, Shelly. What you got? I got speed and damage on my side. You don't got nothing here, Shelly. Where are you? Show yourself. Show yourself, punk. Let's go. The damage. <laughs> yes, guys, these builds are going to be so much fun to explore. What are the best builds for every brother? Who the heck knows? Dude, Abit is going to be insane with this speed. Just being able to get him to somewhat normal speed before you get down your star power, I think is going to be game changing for this guy. And on top of that, the damage one also, I think is going to be really good on Abit, but I want to go with the HP one, seeing that he is normally a mid here in gem grab and stuff like that. I feel like sustain is going to be pretty dang important. All right, you guys, so getting into this here, the cool thing about these gears is since they are passive abilities, I believe it's just influencing your base brawler, where normally abilities like gadgets as well as star powers can't stack. Um, but I believe gears do. So if you have a star power plus the speed increase gear while in bushes, I think they overlap. So let's test that out with this speed increase with the star power here but taking a look at it doesn't that just make 8-bit feel so much better just being able to move around like a normal freaking brawler <laughs> and then on top of that we have the speed increase are you guys noticing any change in speed okay let's get out of the radius i believe so i believe so i don't know guys maybe it doesn't stack if not that's kind of sad okay here we go i feel like we're moving pretty dang fast but 8-bit feels like a normal person. And in all honesty, if they don't stack, I feel like it's still going to be really, really good for 8-bit because now he can use the other star power on top of that. Interesting. Let's freaking go. And we have the, sh the HP slowly healing us up. What you got, Gale? Nothing on that. <laughs> now, one brawler who should be able to stack these speeds is Surge. If you guys didn't know, his actual upgrade to first tier is just his base movement speed. It's not like a star power influencing his speed. So you can really have fun with this guy when it comes to speed increases here in the game because you can kind of double up with him. So I think I'm going to go speed as well as the shield gear here on Surge so we can stay alive a little bit easier. So here we go. Hopping into it. Okay. Slow as heck. Slow as heck. But let's see what we got here. Basically, the shield at the beginning just gives you a good chunk of HP to work with. But here's the speed increase on Surge. Let's freaking go. It feels like we're in our first tier. Okay, let's try and get our super here. All right, upgrading into tier one on top of the speed increase from the bushes. Let's go. Look how fast we are. <laughs> yes, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, I am pretty much so certain that the abilities didn't stack on the 8-bit. So, because this is a very noticeable change. <laughs> Okay, I love this. This is so much freaking fun. Look at this craziness. Okay, so once we get back to full HP, we should be able to get our shield back. So here we go. Get me back there. And nice. We got an additional, I think, 600 HP because of that. Look at that. We're still going up. Why was it still going up? I got to see this. What happens? Okay, we have the shield. We're still healing up slowly. All right, where does it stop? When does it stop? <laughs> We have additional HP. Oh, you can see the small little yellow bar. Okay, that's interesting. The shield gear is actually really, really good. My goodness. Okay, and we're fast as frick, man. We're fast as frick. <laughs> man, really the possibilities are endless. I know a lot of people are interested in fun builds for Edgar, such as the damage dealing one, which would literally increase your HP life leech ability because you're dishing off more damage. I think the resistance one would be really, really good for Edgar here so no one can slow you down or even if they do, it would be reduced. But in my opinion, I'd probably go with the shield as well as the damage output for Edgar so he can kind of jump in there and sustain himself as well as deal additional damage. But again, my goodness, if you have all the gears unlocked, you can kind of switch it to what the map is needing from you you know what i mean my goodness this is fun but instead of the shield i'm most definitely going with speed guys i can't get enough speed in this game when it comes to your boy mobility is everything <laughs> okay so we're damage and speed i feel like this is probably the most aggressive build that you can get with gears just speed as well as damage output right but here we go we have the speed increase on agar my goodness that's going to be really really useful okay let's go look how fast we are man this is so nice so freaking nice okay do we get a double up of the speed increase? I'm not noticing much there. Okay, I really want to test this out though. 
Okay, so this is our movement speed. Now using a super. Let's see if it stacks. Hmm, I don't think it does. Nope, I don't think it does. Only certain things can influencing speed increase, and it looks like gears aren't one of them. So, feels bad, man. Let's see if we can get that damage proc. Nice damage. 1,280. Guys, AI ain't healing up. Come here, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. But yeah, everyone, my brain is just firing at all cylinders. There are so many fun possibilities, such as like a supportive unit like Poco, making sure that he has the shield as well as the passive ability to heal up would make a huge difference. Mortis with a speed increase plus a shield. This guy is going to be insane. But yeah, everyone, things are looking really interesting here for the time being. Again, make sure to keep in mind we are on the dev build. It's not going to be this easy to get all the gears unlocked and power up to level three. So make sure to keep in mind these level ups are more so dedicated to like find a favorite brawler or a brawler that's really really good in the meta and get the perfect build for them purchase two gears that you think are going to be good on that brawler for the long haul so you can use that i feel like gears were implemented into the game not necessarily so you could just max out everything right you kind of got to be selective pick and choose what builds are going to be the best in your eyes because getting all the gears as well as maxing them all out on all the brawlers in the game is going to take a lot of time and a lot of resources so you're not going to be able to do this pick and choose what brawlers you want the gears on at which ones you think is going to be more fun or give you a competitive edge and that's the way you want to approach gears you all already know i'm going to be giving it to colt mortis and dino mike asap <laughs> but yeah everyone i think that's a good ending point here for today's video hope you guys are all excited for the update i know i sure as heck am this is going to be really fun to explore for the next couple months that's for dang sure make sure to stay tuned for really really fun builds right around the corner you all already know gemma ray is right around the corner <laughs> we gem for life baby but with that being said if you did enjoy the video make sure to slap a like on it i'd really appreciate that have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day keep on fun brawl stars and we'll see you in the next video adios everybody